starts tomorrow in North Carolina. Election officials say health and safety is a top priority for poll workers and voters. Our Colleen Quigley is live in Raleigh with more on a decision by election officials that has some police officers raising eyebrows. Colleen. Yeah, Marius and Angela, good evening to you both. Now, in that memo, the North Carolina State Board of Elections asked local boards not to have uniformed police officers at polling places. And I'm told, while this policy isn't necessarily new, the way it was worded in the memo was pretty concerning to local law enforcement. So let me walk you through. In the memo, it says, quote, Excuse me. In the memo sent last week, the State Board of Elections said, quote, it is not appropriate or permissible for law enforcement to be stationed at a voting place. That memo went on to say that some voters find law enforcement presence at the polls, quote, intimidating. And they say if a local election board wants police officers to help with parking or traffic issue, those officers should be in plain clothes and that they can drive by a voting site if security is needed. The board did encourage local boards to meet with law enforcement and to call them if a situation got out of hand. Well, in response, the North Carolina Association of Police Chiefs put out this statement telling members to follow their department policy since, quote, the Board of Elections cannot dictate police protocol. Now, both the chair of the North Carolina GOP and lieutenant governor and gubernatorial candidate Dan Forrest slamming this memo and policy, calling it anti-police. Now, important to note, officers will be allowed to vote while wearing their uniform and coming up at six speaking about voting obviously tomorrow the first day of early voting so we wanted to pass along some tips for you and two ways that you could shorten your time potentially waiting online at a polling place that's coming up in about an hour but for now reporting live in raleigh colin quigley cbs 17 news